Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you again for joining me. Today we're gonna do a review on Jaclyn Hill's favorite powder. This is a Lancome Absolute Powder. I have been playing with it and I'm absolutely in love with it. But first of all, I wanna take a minute. Well, first I gotta put my glasses on. Take a minute and just do a little bit of bragging. Okay, so this is one of my magazine covers that came out recently. I did her hair and her makeup. Actually, I should say I did her hair and her makeup. And inside, there's like a whole spread, which I was so excited about it. I did it with one of my really good friends, Krista. She's an amazing photographer. If you follow me on Instagram, this is what I mainly do. I mainly work on models and occasionally I get some celebrities, but this is what my spread looks like. Krista actually style the entire shoot she's amazing at that so i wanted to show you that because i just got it yesterday and i was really excited about it so don't forget to follow me on instagram okay so today we're going to talk about the lancome absolute powder absolutely i love it i'm going to go ahead and read some of the things some of the claims that this has okay so it says the skin is even toned and looks absolutely luminous. Innovative color clarity technology with soft focus micro sparkles optimizes the effects of light and diminishes the appearance of imperfections for a naturally even and glowing complexion. That it does do and I'm absolutely obsessed. It is a little bit on the pricey side. I will put that down below. So what I want to do is I kind of want to show you some things that I like to use when I'm doing models and stuff. Of course I can't go and even for myself I can't do really really heavy foundation and powders and powders and all this stuff that just starts looking really heavy you know celebrities and when I do models they don't like it to look really like you know the skin has to look like skin it can't look too powdered or like you have too much on there so I'm gonna show you the way that I like to use this powder of course I have a big O zit right here it's been there forever it hurts like anything so one, on the other hand, I do like to use foundations that are very full coverage, but when I apply it, I don't apply it so that it looks really cakey, but it does cover everything immediately. I don't have to sit there and add, you know, correctors and foundation layer and layer and powder and all that stuff because the skin does have to look like skin. And that's how I like to, you know, introduce different things to you ladies and and, and guys and kids and, and whatever so that, you know, you could apply makeup for every day and it's nice and light. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna use Illuminizing Prep by Dr. Brandt. I really like this because it's just a really nice and light. I'm actually gonna put my glasses back on because I can't see. It does make your skin a little bit on the shiny side, but it's not too much. It just gives you a really nice, healthy glow. Another one I like to use is by Becca. And this is a backlighting primer filter. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you that, show you that. I'm gonna show you that comparison to the other one. Now this does have more of a, you know, a wow effect as you can see the difference. So these are the two, or one of the two that I really enjoy using. But for myself, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a luminizing primer. I do have oily skin, so that does tend to come out. So first of all, I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape. I really like this, especially if you have like, you know, really acne, like really, if you have very acne skin and stuff like that because it does cover. I don't have to sit there and do all this crazy stuff. I could just apply this, especially right here where I could clog it some more. And I like to apply it with a brush. I actually already put the luminizer on, so just in case you're wondering. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of dab that on. I like to apply it with a brush because it does go on a lot lighter than um, the actual full coverage when you're doing, well, I guess you could put it on with the beauty blender, but I like to sheer it out with the brush. So as you can see, you can't really see that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more. Now this foundation is, um, you know, it does dry a little bit, but as you can see, I mean, your skin becomes like perfect immediately. And it does hide like little imperfections. Like I have the type of skin that scars. So when I have that, when that goes away, I'm gonna have a giant scar and I'm gonna need foundation that I don't need to be fussing with and it's gonna stay on forever. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the other side. And as you can see, I'm kind of skipping underneath the eye because I don't wanna have that getting cakey when I start applying, you know, my concealer and stuff like that. I've mentioned that several times in my channel. Okay, so even though this is a full coverage foundation, it does look really nice and light. It doesn't look super heavy. It only, you know, a little bit went a long way, so I don't have to worry about applying all this stuff over and over. Now, for those of you that have your little problem spots, you know, I like to usually let it sit there for a second, and then I go over it and just kind of dab it on there. Let's show. See? Very, very easy. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Rewind Concealer. For those of you that are a little older, this is actually a great concealer. It doesn't get into the crease or anything like that. Now I don't put, again, I don't put a ton of that on because I want it to illuminate underneath my eye, but I don't want it to be crazy cakey and heavy because you know what, later in the day, when you apply a ton of foundation and tons of powders, you're gonna start cracking a little bit. And that's exactly what I don't want to happen. So just give it a little bit of concealer. I put it on really light, and I do kind of drag it around everywhere and drag it down so that I have, you know, this area illuminated. But it still looks natural, I don't look like completely overdone. Now, of course, I'm wearing my lashes because I love lashes. And as I mentioned before, I don't wear them on a daily basis. I like to wear them for video because, you know, my eyes are tiny and you can't see them. So I do like to wear them when I'm doing video. So that's what that looks like. All right, so another thing that I love, I absolutely love this powder. It's just so velvety and it a little bit goes a long way, especially for under the eyes. It's not too heavy and cakey. It's my Charlotte Tilbury, and this is a medium too. This is like cashmere. It is the most amazing powder, and as you can see, I already hit pan. So what I do with this, I don't really go all over and put a ton of powder. I just kind of go underneath my eyes. I'm not really into baking. I do it for certain clients, especially when you have darker skin tones. But other than that, I'm not one to put a ton of you know, powder underneath and bake or anything like that. I just feel like it just starts getting a little heavy. So I barely dab into that. And then I just kind of go underneath my eyes because this powder is so, and then right here in my boo-boo spot. This powder is really nice and light and it's not gonna make you look heavy in any way. So I don't put like a ton of powders everywhere just because after a while you could start feeling the powder. I don't know about you, even though I have oily skin, I don't want my skin to feel tight or anything. I want it to look natural with a little bit of a glow. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the magic powder. All right, and then I'm just gonna start working that in in certain areas just to give me a little bit of a shimmer. So it looks really nice and natural and dewy. I do kind of buff it everywhere, especially right around the cheek area. So as you can see, it just looks like a healthy glow. There's not tons of powders and foundations or anything like that. Just really nice and simple. That brush was tickling my nose. Another powder, by the way, that I really like is the e.l.f. I know I've mentioned it before. All right, so that's pretty much my routine. I don't do like a ton of, of powders and stuff like that because I just feel like it starts getting a little bit on the heavy side. Now, if I could find my blush, okay. Found it. All right, so I love um, Milani blushes. I think they're beautiful. They go on really nice. It's a big old ball right there. I smile, and then I apply it on the cheeks of my on the cheeks of my apple of the apples of my cheeks. God, I'm a mess, but I'm always a mess. You guys know that. So I like to smile and just kind of go in there and make myself look a little flush, not too much. and you could still see that glow and of course I made a boo-boo I usually put the powder I mean the blush on and then the powder I've had some crazy hours this week 
course I was complaining about it yesterday, but very blessed that I'm working every day. Thank God. All right. So that's it. It's just really nice and simple. If you want to go back, add a little bit more to your cheeks, you can. And you really don't need to add an extra highlight. If you want to, you can, you know, but this is just so that it makes your skin look really nice and dewy and glowy and healthy. It's not overkill, but if you keep, you know, adding on to it, you will get a really nice, you know, more of a glow, more glow, glowy, whatever, you know. Anyway, so that's my video for today. I hope this kind of helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.